<sighs> if I only could see the moon much closer than if I had a telescope. Hey, this telescope came out of nowhere. Well, I wonder, is it any good though? So this telescope drew my attention, or at least when I searched on eBay, I found this telescope, also nicknamed the Star Scope, or whatever I guess, it may have actually more names. Well, I want just to see how well we can see the moon, or at least how much bigger we can see the zoom than normally, compared to our phone zooms, and more important, is it even any good, or should you even spend your money? It was 15 euros, so let's see. Listen, we are here back with our setup and now we're going to take a look at the star scope. Now, first of all, you can see that it's a telescope, but trust me, this is not a telescope, this is a monocular. I have also called it in the intro a telescope, but it's actually a monocular. Okay, so let's actually unbox it first. Yes, I have, this is not new, like I have ordered it, but yeah. So it comes in this bag. You get a phone adapter, you get a napkin or however you call it to clean your lens, a tripod and you get a manual. Okay, now for the actual monocular, it comes in this kind of bag and this is the actual monocular. It has a protection over here. And it was one over here. Uh, it's just um, detached. Honestly, it doesn't actually look that bad. So yeah, the quality on it doesn't look bad either. Now, actually, what are these for? I'm not actually very sure for what this over here is, but I'm pretty sure it's to lean your eyes again. And uh, I have thought it is kind of interesting. This is the fo focusing knob. Here you focus with it. And here we have the big lens. If I'm not wrong with the objective, since this is looking to the object and this is the ocular because uh, it's looking or at least it's for the eye. Now you can notice that over here it's saying HD 80 times 100. And on a lot of telescopes or monocular, um, you will see this number over here representing the zoom. The big question though is is this actually of that zoom? Oh, and one thing. The smartphone adapter actually does work. All you do is put this like this and then you kind of align the camera with this hole. It stretches out like this for any phone. The locking mechanism though is not that great in my opinion since you just press it on it like this and for friction it holds but it has fell down once so yeah. And of course you get this little desk tripod which you can even extend like this and now you can put your monocular over here. So let's actually test it. On screen now you will see an image of the moon that I have taken with the monocular versus my phone. You can see that it is definitely more clearer and you actually have more details. However, you can also see that since you can see this iris effect, this is actually how it looks like. You have this rounding and this is because this is how it looks like with a phone. You have this effect kind of and it's at normal zoom meaning that I haven't added any extra digital zoom by the phone. But you can see that the phone's digital 10 times zoom matches surprisingly pretty well actually this monocular's optical zoom. Meaning that the telescope doesn't actually magnify it 100 times or whatever claim. Down in the description they actually do mention that it only magnifies up to 10 times and that's actually kind of it. Although you can see the moon clearer, it's definitely not 100 times. And even so, I now display an uh, image of the moon at 56 times the zoom of my actual Big Boss 7 instrument, uh, astronomical instruments telescope, which really is great in quality, and you can see that 
uh, half 100 times zoom. You can only imagine how big actually 100 times zoom really is. So, in other words, this telescope, mm -mm, definitely. By the way, you may have also noticed blue over here. That is because to actually use it, I didn't use this tripod, it's actually kind of small and since I'm uh, doing it in the backyard, I used my mount, my uh, video mount. And over time the screw got a little bit loosened, which, nah, not very great, but I have glued it back with super glue. So now, you have actually seen a comparison and a test, what is my final opinion about this monocle? Now, first of all, I definitely think it's not actually that bad at all, and I do think it's great to be made in quality, even though for its price, so it's actually pretty well made, and I have actually used it when I traveled once with it. The only issue with this is simply that it is not that powerful actually, and it is just some optical standard 10x zoom. You can't do actually that much, and at the end of the video I'm going to display a pretty crappy attempt of um, the Orion Nebula, although again, I didn't really know that much about astrophotography back then, how to do it and stuff like that, but anyway. So, I would not say that this is a bad monocle, but if you're actually looking for other photography and stuff like this, but not other photography, just moon in general and stuff like this, yeah, maybe you may consider buying a better telescope. There are actually very cheap telescopes out there. Although for nature observation, as actually this is intended for, it's actually very very powerful. I think the only deceiving part about this monocular is its zooming capability, not the actual product itself. So yeah, it's not that bad actually, and as said, very interesting. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more, please leave a like, subscribe and do not forget to share it. So your friends or perhaps your known ones will also not buy this one or at least get a bit more money to get the better zoom. But as I said, not the quality, just the other. So if you are looking for 10 times zoom, go ahead. Not my consideration, but anyway. You can make your own opinion based on what you see with the zoom. So yeah, hope to see you next week. Goodbye.